Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be building ourselves a little DIY Steam Deck. So let's get started. Now the board we're gonna be using for this project is called the UE2 X1, which is a board I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, which I'll leave a link right over here. But to give you the quick spec rundowns, it's running on an Intel N5105, uh, eight gigs of RAM with EMMC, which I'm not gonna be using, and an Intel GPU with 24 execution units. Now the specs on this does not compete nowhere near a Steam Deck would, but it's still able to play some games, especially paired up with the screen that they have, uh, driven by this ribbon cable. It is a seven inch touchscreen uh, at a resolution of 1024 by 600 and it's an IPS unit. Now I did play around with this and it is very clear and very responsive. So this whole build is premised on these two devices, which is this touchscreen itself and on the UE2 board. Now being that this is a smaller resolution, there's less processing that needs to be done. So it should be able to play more games than I was testing before. But even though, uh, with this type of setup, you should be able to play older games, like more pixelated, like um, Ateria, um, Dead Cells, Gunfire Reborn, Risk of Rain, stuff like that on this device. Especially emulation games, you should be able to play that no problem as well. Now this is going to be a part one of a part I don't know how many series because I'm going to be building other stuff to it. All I have right now is just the screen and the board. So the first thing we're going to be testing on this part one is the operating system. There are two main operating systems that we can choose from. Technically three that will run Steam OS or technically Steam big picture mode. Uh, there's Windows, there's Halo ISO and Camaro OS. Now I don't want to use Windows because you lack the support for FSR. So that's completely off the table, which leads us to Camaro or Halo ISO. But I am interested in taking a look at Camaro OS. So again, I'll leave a link down in the description below for that. But Camaro OS seems to be very promising because it has a lot of the features that I want on there, especially Steam OS and uh, emulation. So all you need to do is just download the ISO, pop it onto a disk that has Ventoy, boot into the installer, and most of the installer is just text-based, so you just nix through the prompts and tell it where you want to install it. Now, what I did to prepare for this build, I installed uh, NVMe, I think 256 gigabytes for now. I am not gonna be using the MMC, and I installed a uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module on the bottom. That is also for our Bluetooth controller that we're gonna be using in the future. So going through the installer, just make sure you select the correct uh, drive so in my case it would be nvme and again it's just text-based it's really quick once it installs uh you could just reboot the system it'll boot you right into steam os all right so here we are booted into steam properly and as you can see it actually views very well on this little configuration now here's the bluetooth control that i'm actually using called the ipega i forgot what the model number was but it is an older model. It doesn't have all the special keys like M1, M2, and M3. So it does mean that if, since I'm able to connect to this device and move the controllers around, uh, it means I could actually purchase a proper controller for this. And I do have a concept on what I want to do. So here we go. Uh, you can see that the controller works perfectly fine. It's moving the screens left and right. I could actually use my, uh, whoops. I could use my finger to kind of like navigate as well and see what's going on. So the first game I want to check out is Gunfire Reborn. It's a rogue type game, first person shooter. Um, it plays very well originally on this device while it was still doing 1080. So I don't see how there would be a problem playing it on such a low resolution. So here we have all the specs up. It's doing about 82 frames per second, just loading into the main page. Again, the resolution is much lower, which means it could actually do more frames at this type of rate. And there we go, 60 frames. Um, I could choose my character. So let me go to Spiritual Assault and I will choose my favorite character, which is this guy. I'm going to deploy him. Right now, I don't have any sound configured for this. Uh, I just don't have anything plugged into the 3.5 millimeter jack or any type of USB sound power or anything. So I will have to look into some sort of way of getting audio out like some sort of 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks or something or headphones but for now it seems to be doing rather well on the game look everything moves so smooth 59 frames 60 frames per second i like it i could shoot yep yeah, shooting is fine i gotta be able to choose uh the weapon that i want so is it this yep yeah. so i could choose 
Concealed ammo, sting, probably concealed ammo. There you go, I can shoot them. I can use my skills. I actually really like this game. This game is so much fun. Especially if you got a party of four and you can just go around killing stuff and spiritual assault is like, I think if you play it outright, it takes about 40 minutes to do the whole entire spiritual assault. And now they just came out with an update with more maps. Another map for spiritual assault. And here you go. I'm just killing these guys, picking up experience. And I can actually choose a second weapon. I'm going to upgrade my main weapon. Oh, and I got more skills. So let's see. Uh, abnormal speed. Let's do that. Doing pretty well over here. And the graphics is shown really good. No hiccups. Right now I have a lot of stuff on the screen. And it's doing around like 52 frames per second. 45, 50. So it's extremely playable. And this is a full first person shooter. Let's go this way. Reload. Let's do a secondary weapon. Look at that. Just wiping everyone out. Alright, so let's get out of this game because we played enough and checked it out enough. And it plays very, very well. Especially, like I said, on this screen resolution. It looks very well. It, it plays very well. So it's very, very, very promising on building this out as a Steam Deck. Now, as far as uh, some of the controls go, you can get these menus up and going. And if I want to decrease the brightness and increase the brightness, it does work. Whoops. Keyboard shows up as well. It's a little slippery right now. I have to hold it down. Um, if you want to go into battery mode, I know TDP doesn't work. There is a software that you can install to modify and change the TDP, but I know it doesn't work for this. But all this other stuff does, like the FSR and... Um, all this other stuff you could change out the way you want certain things they even have the nvidia version of a fsr in here which is this button over here but yeah i could actually go through all these settings just like i would on a steam deck and if i was to search for something and i don't have like say a keyboard touchscreen keyboard does come up it's a little small to type on but at least i know it comes up uh, hitting control one will give me the side menu as well so i really like this camera os operating system right now it's actually really really nice i could go in here and probably set some stuff up uh, download stuff uh, i do have a desktop mode as well if i needed to drop into desktop but i'm not going to be checking that out uh, for now we could jump into another quick game just to see how well that would play as well so i'm going to go into control one and eventually i do have to maybe on this control i have to make a hotkey or uh, the other controls that i'm going to get might have m1 or m2 i might have to like set up that as a hotkey just to pull up control one and control two as a menu for now i'm going to go into my installed games i do have dead cells installed uh, let's play that and we'll see how well that looks and i know it's going to play awesome on this already because i tested it on a 1080 screen before so far as we've been playing this i haven't even heard the fan kick on because there's an actual fan up in front and it's been pretty good so i'm going to continue a game i know i'm going to be hitting 60 frames per second on this so it shouldn't be a problem Oh man, it, it plays so well. I don't have a weapon on me yet, so let's let's grab a weapon. Oh, I got a hammer. Got that hammer. I forgot I have to get behind these guys. This hammer's so slow. I'm just smacking into these things. I'm not dealing with that one. There you go. And it, it plays so well. I mean, right now, there's so much going on in the screen. It's doing around like 40 frames per second. But... Again, it's, it plays very well. So I think I made a right choice to play around with building this Steam Deck using this. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Uh, we're testing out the operating system Camaro OS, which works very well on this little board. I was able to play a couple of games at pretty good speeds. I actually felt pretty native when I was playing it, especially with the resolution that we're giving it. It should do no problem with certain games. And I thoroughly enjoyed actually trying to play certain rogue type games on this. Now, I do plan on creating a case for this that I'm going to 3D print. I still have to design it probably for the next video. I have to 
uh, find some sort of speakers that could work with this and a new Bluetooth controller that could, you know those controllers that work for the phones and then you could just align them together? That's what I want to do. Just get a controller that I could smack to the sides, maybe with extra buttons for uh, hot keys like control one and control two for this operating system. And we'll see where it takes me. But for now, at least we know that this is fully doable. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys have any ideas about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And that same my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.